We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with the San Francisco 49ers. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. This is fielded at the goal line. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. At their own 24-yard line. Here we go, here we go. Wait, AD! Let's go, D! Slam, slam, slam! On your head! They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. Gets through and now an opening. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Here we go. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. Oh, you got deep. Garoppolo looks to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards the pick up there. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for you on the outside as well. That's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. And he's got it. Now it's the fullback. This is Kyle Juszczyk. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Four yards to pick up. First down. Let's face it, you always want a team full of guys who can get your first downs and big plays of all styles, but you got to have a big man. You can just turn and hand it to, and he can be dependable in picking up first downs. There's Garoppolo to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Brandon, unless my eyes deceive me, I think they found a matchup that they're trying to exploit here, don't you? I mean, that's the second time they've gone to him here on this drive. Yeah, opening drive. It's a tone. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense go, to attack go. a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, that allows your blitzers to get there. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Here we go. First and second down were a disaster. Both went backwards. Now it's third and 18. They need something big. Garoppolo now. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They'll wind up with 17 on that one, but they're still a bit short here for fourth. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A 14-yard touchdown. And the 49ers drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. 
Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. Makes the score Niners 7, Eagles nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. The first carry now for Jordan Howard. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Shotgun now for Wentz. And okay, it's J.J. Arthago right side. Now he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. Here we go, here we go. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Wentz now on first down. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A big pickup there for the Eagles first down, 18 yards. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Throwing now is Wentz. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. I haven't seen more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. To throw on second and ten. Wentz and complete to Zach Ertz. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. This pass complete wins to Ertz. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Throwing again on second down. Wentz looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, CD, with the end of the season comes the announcement of the All-Pro team, and everybody was like, wait a second, Christian McCaffrey's listed twice. Is that a mistake? No, he got it both at running back and flex. Pretty impressive. Very impressive because I think a lot of people thought that if you have a running back and a flex position, that maybe Christian McCaffrey would go into the flex because he catches the ball so well, and you would go ahead and elevate the big guy out of Tennessee, Derrick Henry, to the all-pro running back. Henry ends up being a second-team guy, but McCaffrey deserves being first-team running back as well as first-team flex. He had a tremendous, spectacular year. And as you might imagine, Baltimore leads away five players named to the all-pro selection. Of course, leading the way for them, the quarterback, Lamar Jackson. Yes, and, and rightly so, and I fully expect him to be named the MVP when we get to NFL honors right before the Super Bowl. He's going to sweep all of those, and he deserves it. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Fletcher Cox, the former Mississippi State Bulldog, ringing the cowbell there on the sack. Well, that last go. sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. On third and long, it's Garoppolo escaping the pressure right. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Craven LeBlanc with a pick. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Here we go, here we go. 
Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now a first down throw complete downfield. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. It's a gain of 34 for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. 46 down, man, 5-4. now on first down. Flush to his right. He's going to take off with it. And I think the ball's out. And this is going to get out of bounds through the end zone. And that will go as a turnover as the defense will get it at the 20-yard line. Here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Throwing now is Garoppolo. He's going to sling this deep depth. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. And 10 yards to go. Here we go. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. He's coming. Double up. To throw is Garoppolo. And yes, he found Toy Lolo. And he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line. 13 yards there and a Niner first. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that. Having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Alert! Alert! Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. Going underneath, it's Coleman. And they'll get this well past midfield before go, being stopped just before the 35. Yeah, good for 21 yards on the catch and run. It's caught by Coleman. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Check. Here we go. Black 80. Check 53. Black. There's Garoppolo on first and 10. An incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And that will do it for this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL. And it's a presentation of EA Sports. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead. And we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Let's go. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. 
I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? It's caught inside the 25. It's a big play there for the Eagles. And even 40 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. From the gun, it's wins. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second half tone set. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Hey, it's, just, it's, just, it's just me and you. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. 25, check 25, check 25. One, Omaha. <laughs> to throw, it's Garoppolo. Open man is Samuel, complete. He's at the 50, 30, past the 20. Touchdown, 49ers. Hey, hey, hey. Debo Samuel, 96 yards. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, you know, second half, no matter what, whether it's first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. To throw again on second down. Wentz, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Nick Bosa, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. At their own 47-yard line. Here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Here we go, here we so go, now here we second go. and ten hey, after the incompletion hey, on first down. Hey, Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The sack by Brandon Graham. He's been doing that since he entered the league in 2010. That last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. 
Play fake there to Coleman. Now Garoppolo. Flushed out right. Now on the run. He'll throw it back deep over the middle. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against him offensively. And this is a way. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now. I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the field a lot more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But... And down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the sack. Getting the sack, the 227-pound linebacker, Quan Alexander. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. They throw down the field, caught by his running back. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. 23 yards to pick up there. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On play action, it's Wentz. It's caught by Sanders. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll make it a second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. It's a second down run with Sanders, and he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Throwing on first is Wentz. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The back nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston Company with some work to do after the sack. Working from the gun, Wentz. Completes it to Aguilar. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It'll go as a gain of 33, and that play started back at their own 33. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big play. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the former first rider, Jimmy Ward. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Now that turnover might just about do it here. Fourth quarter, the lead that you've got, they can just run the football, run the clock. Exactly right. They played smart. Couple of first downs, and this one should just about be over. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Garoppolo looks to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Duke Riley coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And he'll score. Touchdown, Eagles. This game's still fairly well in hand, but I think now you, you go conservative, don't you? Go into your shell and just run the football? I think you have to, but you also have to tell your backs, make sure you're really protecting the football because you're going to run into a stacked defensive front, which is why they were throwing the football before, trying to make sure they just get their backs, you know, really beat up in that situation. Now, good luck to them. 
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down Let's at go. the 22-yard line. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And the drive starts with a handoff to Coleman. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Brings up second and 11 at the 21-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. You have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. On second and 11 now. Garoppolo. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. And it's third down. Here we go. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. They'll try and run for it. This is use check. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Let's take it inside his own 40. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. The only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. To throw his wins. Over the middle, complete. That's Ward. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. We own them. 82, 82. Hang in there now. Hang in there now. Now wins. It's caught by Aguilar. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Well, the obviously red man covers their partner. He got downfield, broke down the defender, made him think. by that Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. J.J. Arthega Whiteside, the intended receiver. All smiles and high fives on that defensive sideline. That interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance. Yeah, if you can hold a team to seven points in the NFL, here we go, here we go, here we that's go. the kind of day that you feel really good about. And I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves, held them to seven. If we'd made one more play, could have had our shutout. A loss of a yard brings up second and 11 at the five-yard line. Uh, well, uh, this would be one heck of a record if he makes this. Very long attempt. And supreme confidence in the kicker turns to supreme failure, as that is obviously no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So the victory here for San Francisco, and it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. I almost want to do the defense